Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at all six hyperbolic functions. The cosine, sine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. We've already been introduced to the hyperbolic cosine, the hyperbolic sine, the hyperbolic tangent, and the hyperbolic cotangent, and we've seen why the graphs look the way they do. But what about the hyperbolic secant and the hyperbolic cosecant? Well, since a hyperbolic secant is the inverse of the hyperbolic cosine, notice that at x equals 0, the function is 1, which means that the function will be 1 there as well. But here you can see that as x goes to positive infinity or negative infinity, the function goes to infinity here, which means that the function here needs to go to 0 because it is the inverse. And here you can see that at the middle, we have the function being equal to 0 for the hyperbolic sine of x, which means it will be undefined at x equals 0 for the hyperbolic cosecant because it's the inverse. And then here you can see that the function goes to infinity over here and infinity over here, which means that the, the function will converge to 0 on this side and 0 on this side from the negative side over here and from the positive side over there. So it does make sense that the hyperbolic secant and the hyperbolic cosecant do look the way they do. But here's a nice summary and a reference for all six hyperbolic functions and how they're graphed.